That's why she was making tuna fish jello salad because grandma was zooted out of her mind. Am I? The butt vortex. The story below. Hi, welcome back to another Am I the Butt Vortex? 43 female, am a gamer, am I, 49 male husband, not legally married, is not. Huh, sounds like a lot of relationships, but usually it's reversed. We've been together for nearly 13 years, living together for nearly 10, and we have a child together, six female. Before we had our daughter, I would game here and there, but after having her, I don't get to do it as often. There would be times I get to into stage where I game a lot, whether it is a new game or revisiting a favorite game. Now, here's the thing. After having my daughter, I get busy with mother and wife duties. My husband leaves for work before my daughter and I wake up, which is fine. I get her and myself ready, take take her to the sitter, preschool, now elementary school. I work eight to four. I'm a preschool teacher. After work, I go pick up my daughter, sometimes go do a little grocery shopping or whatever errands, that need to that need to be done, or I just go straight home. I get home, tend to the dogs, take them out, but this time it's anywhere from 4.45 to 5.30, depending. Sometimes my husband gets home at 5, then finishes the, with the dogs if I don't do it at all. On top of cleaning whatever mess that is left from the night before, cook dinner and help with homework, dishes, then help my daughter with bath and bed, by this time it's 8.30. Where, as my husband would come home, depending on the time, would tend to the dogs on the couch and watch TV. I remember telling this to a friend of mine, and she said that I am a married single mom, and sometimes I do feel this way. Anyway, so by 8.39 p.m., I would turn on my gaming console, and I play a little late. I would have these moments once in a while. It's not all the time, far and few between. Now, maybe about a month ago, I've been playing nearly every night, and my husband isn't happy about it. He once said that he cannot compete with my PlayStation because I don't lay down with him and cuddle when he's ready for bed. And today, I texted how having a car is a pain in the ass since it was just at the shop for some repairs, and he responded with this. I don't know which is worse, a car or a girlfriend that chooses to play video games all night and week rather than sleep with her man. Toss up. After my daughter goes to bed, it's really the time I have to myself. So, am I the butt vortex? She does everything, takes care of everything, and tries to do a little bit of gaming to herself at night to unwind, and he is not happy. So I'm just going to say. The butt vortex in this story? Is it her or him? Is she the butt vortex? Is she basically the butt vortex because she wants to unwind at the end of the day by playing a little bit of video games versus spending time with her boyfriend slash husband or whatever you want to call him, life partner? I think I think there's a solution to this problem to avoid vo- butt vortex. <laughs> uh, maybe the husband should like nut the hell up and maybe take a special interest in what she likes to do. And that can lead to other things. That's just me. I, as coming from somebody that's been in his shoes from time to time, I can see both sides of the argument. I see that she does need, that's her way to escape for the day, done wine, because it sounds like, she, like her friend was right. She is a married single mom, she does everything. She Gets the kid ready for school, comes home, cooks dinner, cleans the house. Sounds like when he comes home, he probably just sits down, doesn't takes care of the dogs and doesn't do anything else. So I I my opinion now as I matured since when I've dealt with that personally, I'm gonna say she is not the butt vortex. I think he needs to realize it's not all about him all the time. Okay. What say you, uh, sir, bigness? I, I say, one, y'all been together 13 years, and he has not bent the knee. Um, we, need to, we need to discuss that first. Um, <laughs> first, yeah, first we need to discuss that. Second, he needs, if, if she's got four hours of work, 
when she gets home, then they should have two hours of work apiece. Um, this this is not this is not the 1970s or 60s or 50s or 40s. Um, both adults work. Both adults have a child together. Both adults have responsibilities. This whole traditional the man the man's supposed to come home and take his shoes off. Yeah, that's fine. Go make enough money so that the wife can stay home. You know, not not to mention the fact that in the 1950s, uh, grandma was zooted out of her mind on Valium <laughs> while dad was at work. <laughs> That's why she was making tuna fish jello salad because grandma was zooted out of her mind. I think he almost caused Bear Ninja to spit it out of his nose. Grandma was zooted. <laughs> That's why they all had maids and shit because grandma was zooted. You go lay down. Go lay. Go lay down for you. For you try to iron the countertop again. <laughs> uh uh. Uh uh. Tell that man get off his behind, help out. And the thing is, if he helps out with this stuff, maybe she'll come and cuddle a little bit more. Or, you know, may, may, maybe you can, maybe it'll lift off some of that stress. So if she has two hours to game, she's either going to do it between nine o'clock and 11 o'clock. Or if y'all both help with the chores, she can do it between seven and nine. Y'all right. both go to bed at nine. And then Bud Vortex can come into play. <laughs> the answer stands right now. <laughs> Ma'am, you are not the butt vortex, but there is a butt vortex in your house. Yeah, I agree. I uh, agree. I think I think we're all in the same boat on this that she is not the butt vortex. She yeah. is not the butt yeah. vortex. Absolutely not. She is not no the butt means. vortex. No. And your grandma is zooted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to end it with Kevin saying your grandma is zooted. <laughs> <laughs> she on that. She on that tussin. <laughs> Feel that, 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 that tussin was the lightest thing you had in that house. She on that tussin. Yeah. Oh man. So yeah, yeah that was grandma had didn't have shit on that gin. Am I the vortex? <laughs>